Ipo came to the Cincinnati Zoo from Sumatra in 1991, and he became an extremely important part of a program that was focused on breeding this critically endangered species in a managed program. We were able to produce three calves in a period of just about six years um, with Ipu and his mate Emmy. So they were just a really important part of the research and a part of the effort to save Sumatran rhinos through captive breeding. We think it was a combination of old age and thyroid cancer um, that finally made us make that hard decision um, that his quality of life was, was over. He was such an important animal to Cincinnati and to the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden that we were thrilled. The museum center here agreed that it was an important specimen to prepare um, as a taxidermy specimen so that he could be on exhibit to people for years to come. And at the same time, we were able to preserve some tissues and some biological samples uh, so that this incredible project um, could take place. Researchers have sequenced Ipu's entire genome from frozen tissue samples preserved at Cincinnati Museum Center. Sexually reproducing species typically have two copies of each gene, one from each parent. This means that every individual animal's genome contains a sample of the genes present in the overall population. Scientists compare the alleles, or different versions of the same gene, of many genes throughout the genome. In this way, they can begin to learn about the historic population of a species from the genome of a single animal. Ipu's genes tell the story of the Sumatran rhinoceros species. The diversity of Ipu's genome was comparatively low, similar to the genetic diversity of recently extinct populations of woolly mammoths, or inbred domestic breeds of horse. Around one million years ago, sea levels were much lower than they are today, and the islands of Sumatra and Borneo were connected to the Malaysian Peninsula by land bridges. Around this time, the Sumatran rhino population peaked at around 57,000 individuals. Models suggest that a changing climate is largely responsible for the declining population of the Sumatran rhinos. Rising sea levels turned one landmass into a series of islands, which split the rhinoceros population into smaller groups. A period of steep population decline followed. The rhinos saw a slight rise in population following a brief, warm interglacial period, but the history of the species has been characterized by decline. Archaeological evidence also indicates that humans have been active in the rhinos' habitat for roughly 10,000 years, and that this activity included hunting rhinos. Interaction between Sumatran rhinos and humans has historically only served to accelerate the rhino population's decline. While human impact, such as poaching and habitat loss, still negatively affect the Sumatran rhino population today, humans are also attempting to save the species through sanctuaries and managed breeding programs. The Sumatran Rhino Genome Project is just one example of the scientific research that Cincinnati Museum Center is participating in with partners around the world. The methods used in this study can also be applied to other endangered species. Knowing how and why the population of the Sumatran rhinoceros has declined is an important part of saving the species from extinction.